Hello, dear friends. I welcome you to the reflections of the 19th Sunday of the ordinary time of the year. Last week, we were reflecting on how Jesus is a generous God. And today, this reflection based on the responsorial psalm from Psalm 33, from verse 2 to 9, is advising us to taste and see that the Lord is good. This, for me, tells me that there are so many tests in the world, and it raises a lot of questions. Are there many tests? Yes, there are. There is bitter test, sour test, sweet test alike. In the first reading from the first book of Kings, chapter 19, from verse 4 to 8, Elijah tested the worst from life, and in that wilderness, he felt he had had enough and asked God to take his life. Like Elijah, as in life, life offers us many bitter tests, many sour tests. But Elijah did something commendable. He tested the Lord. He prayed to God. And God sent an angel who fed him for the journey ahead. He walked 40 days and 40 nights and reached Horeb. We have a lesson to pick from Jesus also in the Gospel. Jesus had his own fair share of rejection and degradation from his own people. When life gave him lemons, he made lemonade from it. He did that. How did he do that? He remembered to tell them immediately the best thing about himself as being the bread of heaven. For Jesus, nobody could put him down. When life throws mud at us, we ask ourselves in our different life challenges, have we tested the Lord? If no, we need to do that urgently. If yes, we need to continue. Today, like Elijah, let us learn to test the Lord in our different life-challenging situations, for He is good. God can supply us the energy we need when life gets tough. When our spiritual life gets tougher, we can always run to the Eucharistic Jesus, who has many promises for us. As the bread of life, most important of all the promises is that of giving us eternal life raising us up. We thank God today who has always helped us through all our troubles and through all our hard times. We pray therefore that the Lord will accompany us all through our lives, raising us up when life beats us down. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Join us next week for another reflection.